My hair looks like a literal rat's nest, so uh, can we just ignore that? <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, do not be put off with the way that I look right now. It's gonna get better, okay? I swear. <laughs> Today I thought I'd just do like a casual chit chat get ready with me. I can't remember the last time I did one of those. I am doing a foundation review for you guys so I do already have my foundation on. But I just thought I'd do the rest of my makeup with you guys and just chill chit chat what's going on with my life grab a drink grab a cup of tea coffee whatever you want which i'm actually gonna do now brb <sighs> i just decided with water but yeah let's just chill let's get ready and talk about life because why not i'm so obsessed with rose gold that i decided to get rose gold straws <laughs> you know these metal straws try and be better for the environment and whatever anyway should i zoom you guys in just a little bit let's zoom you guys in a little bit oh that's the wrong way <laughs> So I need to get my concealer on real quick because I am looking <laughs> terrible. Okay, I'm not gonna go crazy with the makeup today just because I am going to work. Um, God, I hate the way that my hair sits. I literally look, I don't know what I look like, but anyway. <laughs> so I just thought I'd talk about a few things with you guys about what's been happening in my life. Things that I guess you guys don't really get to see unless you're following me on like Instagram or anything like that. Which if you want to, is just at Kiriel Lara. I put things on there that I wouldn't put on here necessarily unless it's videos like this. I'm using a mixture of two products which is totally not needed. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer and also the e.l.f. Concealer. I'm just I'm just playing around with products really. I'm not going to be going through all the products so they'll all be listed down below for you guys. But yeah so one thing is that I've started a weight loss journey. If you know me in my real life obviously you know this. <laughs> And I just want to preference this because I do know I have younger people following me. I have done this for kind of health reasons and also to make myself feel better. <laughs> I am only 24 turning 25 this year. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that meme? I don't know what movie it's from but it's like the hurricane coming and the guy like shouting and people have put like the ages over top. Yeah, that's literally me to 25. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like I was having health issues that I probably shouldn't be having at my age. For example, I'm type 2 diabetic. I haven't actually gone for a checkup, so I don't know if I am anymore. But all I know is the symptoms have gone away since I've started this diet. And the diet that I'm doing is the ketogenic diet. Now, this is a massive thing at the moment. I do just want to say it is for weight loss. It's important that you keep your health in check, but mainly your mind in check. When you're younger, you might feel like you're a little chubbier. You might feel like you're overweight, when in fact you're very much not. I felt that way when I was younger, okay? And and I look back on pictures of me now <laughs> and it kind of saddens me that young girls feel that way about themselves when they're so young. But I just want to say that you don't need to lose weight okay to feel happy in yourself but I needed to for health reasons and also I just wanted to like in my head I want to be an Instagram model okay like who doesn't <laughs> but when you're fed up of feeling a way and you're fed up of looking a certain way and you have an image in your head that you want to portray and you can't do that because of your weight and your weight is pulling you down that's when I felt like I need to make the change and I've always known that I wanted to lose weight I just never had the motivation to and all of a sudden this motivation has come out of nowhere and it's kind of clicked in my head that I need to work for what I want and it's so weird because I've always been told that but I've never kind of accepted it until recently. I'm ready to work for what I want and that's what I'm doing. Anyway that turned into like a little rant but <laughs> it's just so important that younger people out there know that not everybody is freaking perfect okay and you don't need to be. So that is what I'm currently doing. I am currently trying to go to the gym like three times a week. I'm not pushing myself or killing myself, you know? Although when I go in the gym, I kind of am, but. <laughs> and I just do the basics, you know? So far I've lost just under a stone within a month and a half, which is pretty good going. My clothes are starting to get looser, which makes me anxious. Because if I continue to lose weight, I'm gonna have to buy a whole freaking new wardrobe. <laughs> but it'll be worth it. I am slowly but surely losing inches. I think that has a lot to do with the gym, but it also has a lot to do with the ketogenic diet. If you don't know what that is, it's just basically low carb, but you don't have any kind of starchy carbs like potatoes, breads, pastas. You do have carbs because that comes from like green veggies, which is like something that you pretty much eat all the time on keto, but it's low carb and high healthy fats. So things like avocados, nuts, coconut oil, that kind of stuff. And I am actually loving it i'm not gonna lie because i don't feel like i'm on a diet i'm still eating bacon i'm still having like strawberries and cream they say it takes three weeks to make a habit i've been on this for a month and a half so 
it is doable. It is kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even want to think about the money that I've spent on avocado. <laughs> but to me, it's worth it at the moment for my health. So I'm just keeping on. I'm just keeping on going, guys. And I have never stuck to a diet for this long in my entire life. So clearly something's working for me. Anyway, I've been working on this concealer for about a quarter of an hour. So let's move on, shall we? I feel like my under eye is looking so much brighter on camera than it is in real life. It's honestly not that stark. This has kind of been life changing for me. I did have problems when I was like running and I did have issues with my legs for like a while. So I did actually take a week off the gym as well. But with that, I still lost weight because I was doing the ketogenic diet. Like I owe this all to Christy here on YouTube. She's the one who introduced me to the ketogenic diet. Like not obviously, me personally. She talked about it on her channel and I was intrigued because she has similar health issues to me. She lost like 40 pounds of weight within three months. So I did a lot, like a lot of research before starting this diet and I would highly recommend doing that with anything especially when it comes to health there's a guy on here on youtube his name is like thomas delore or something like that he is so good at information for the ketogenic diet i feel like sometimes it can kind of overload you with information though because there's a lot of technical terms that i don't understand and so if you want more information on the ketogenic diet then i would highly highly suggest his videos i'm getting so deep in this video <laughs> But I'm just feeling so much better, you guys. Like, so much better. So, I wasn't officially diagnosed, but I believe I had insulin resistance, which is where my body just didn't use insulin properly. Ever since I started keto, my blood sugars are flat level. I don't have any highs or lows. I'm just completely flat level and I feel completely fine. If I was high, I would be irritable. I'd be, like, so snappy. If I was low, I'd feel shaky and I'd feel weak and tired and lethargic. And I just don't feel any of those feelings anymore sure i get tired if i don't sleep properly but apart from that i don't get those highs on those after eating and that's just insane to me i don't really know what to say anymore i feel like i've said all i need to say <laughs> it is super duper sunny today which is so weird because we've had like so much rain that was kind of getting me down but now the sun is out, I feel a little bit better. Hey, the sun. How are you doing? I've started sorting through my makeup collection because there's a lot of things that I don't really use and that are just taking up space that I really don't have. Like, my room is literally a little box room. It's freaking tiny. I can't wait to move out, but I just don't... I don't know when that's gonna happen, I'll be honest. I've started going through things that I don't use, things that are too dark for me, and I started slowly but surely getting rid of it. If you'd like me to do like a declutter, then please leave a like on this video. I don't know whether to do it as it is at the moment because <laughs> uh, it's a mess and I need to go through everything, like nothing's in its allocated space. If I'm filming late and I just wanna go to bed, I uh, I just kind of shove it in whatever drawers open. <laughs> so at the moment, it's just a complete and utter mess and I really need to go through everything. So I don't know whether to do it in its raw state at the moment and show you guys what a mess I am or to make it look presentable and like I'm an actual decent human being. <laughs> but then it would just be a misrepresentation of my true self. Like a complete and utter mess. <laughs> ah, self-deprivating humor. <laughs> I have got the holiday blues so much. This warm weather coming in and stuff is just kind of making me want to go away, I'm not gonna lie. Just like go away to Spain or something, you know? Just, just somewhere hot where I can just chill. I'm longing for some tan skin. May fake tan soon, I don't know. In work I always have my like holiday pictures on my home screen, so uh, that doesn't help. But it just, it just reminds me why I'm there, you know? You spend so much time in your work and I don't mind my job, but you need to remind yourself that you're working to live, not living to work, you know? And this is awkward because my boss watches these and I know she does. Hi, Emma, if you're watching. <laughs> but it is true. It is true. Woo. Yes, Kiko. If you're wondering, the highlights Glow Fusion by Kiko. It looks like nothing in the pan, like absolutely nothing, but then on the skin, it looks bomb. And this is in the shade 01. If we need to get my brows done again, my brows grow so freaking quickly and so unruly and they never stay in the shape that they were given they go everywhere and it's so freaking annoying this fix plus by max smells so freaking good it's the lavender one mm. i'm just highlighting my whole face don't mind me for my blush recently i've actually been just using whatever eyeshadow palette i'm using call me crazy but it's just my laziness coming through <laughs> using the huda beauty nude palette so much it's kind of become my kind of everyday palette so i'm gonna do my eyes and then we'll decide what blush color to use let's some of you guys in just a smidge just a little smidgen 
I just want to kind of do a natural but sheeny today, which is pretty much like my everyday kind of eye look. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing a video of like reality versus Instagram simply because like I know you see on Instagram these like amazing eye looks and I try to do them myself I have a few of these pretty looking things on Instagram but I want to let you know that they're not reality okay <laughs> the majority of the people that I know who've asked me to do makeup on them and have asked me to do like an eye look because that's what I kind of put on my Instagram and stuff we all have similar eye shapes which is like this like hooded not a lot of space and a lot of people have that specific eye shape not a lot of people have a lot of eye space and flat lid space so I was thinking about doing a video about the reality of that kind of makeup the matter of the fact is is they seek out models with a specific eye shape to do all this pretty makeup on which you know is fair enough is to like showcase their skills but you need to know it's completely normal that you have flappy eyelids okay and you're not gonna be able to do the same kind of styles. Like, that's just that's just a tape, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking about doing one of those kind of videos, but I don't know. I've been loving this brush, by the way. It's the Morphe M533. It's so good for just fluffing stuff all over your lid. Very soft, and I can literally just kind of go boop. I usually do this with like bronzer, and I just kind of shove it all over the lid. <laughs> I was thinking about doing some like prom looks. Or maybe like recreating my prom look that I did when I was 16. Oh dear lord. Yes, I did my own makeup for my prom, okay? I would have never thought about getting a makeup artist. Like, jeez. <laughs> for one, I don't think my parents would have got me one because, you know, you can do your own makeup. But I just think 16 year olds these days, they know how to do their makeup. So their makeup looks so much better. And I would like to recreate my makeup just to show you guys. All I'm saying is there was blue winged eyeliner involved. Um... <laughs> You are living in a completely different world if you are 16 these days, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm still just using one color, by the way. <laughs> I'm just shoving it all over the lid. Like, you can see how messily I'm literally doing this. I'm just like, woo, all over the place. But it just, this brush just does work for you. Real talk, though, I have thought about maybe trying to do makeup on other people. Um, I don't know. It kind of scares me because I know how my face is and the shape of my eyes and I know what works on my eyes and what doesn't and the thought of doing somebody else's face and potentially uh, not doing their face justice really really scares me I haven't gone to makeup school or anything like that and I would love to but I don't even know where to begin in my area it's not really a big thing that is specific to makeup there's like beauty but there isn't really anything specific to makeup as far as I know if there is please let me know <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like if I'm gonna do someone's makeup, I want to have like qualification, if you know what I mean. I'm like such a perfectionist and I want to have like the credentials before I start saying I'm a makeup artist because the fact is I'm not. I'm just playing around with makeup. <laughs> I'm still on the same color, by the way. One thing that I'm just like scared about is foundations, man. Foundations are so expensive, but I am thinking about getting maybe the RCMA foundation palette. So there's like loads of shades in it, but that is like 60 pounds. <laughs> uh, before I have like people I can consider clients, like that is a lot of money, you know? I don't know. I think I'm gonna do a soft little halo eye. I'm just gonna go quiet a sec because I want to work out what I'm doing with my eyes. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, let's put some shine in the center. When I go into work today, people are gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> I never really go into work with a lot of makeup on, but I just wanted to play around today, you know? Myself live my best life. If I get a lot of fallout from the shade, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm still trying to work these Huda Beauty shimmers out. Like, they just, they had to work with, man. I saw a look that Mario, I can't say his last name. <laughs> The guy who does Kim Kardashian's makeup, and it was like an open halo eye, and it was so pretty, and I just wanted to kind of like emulate that today, but it didn't really work the same. Ow, a bit of that just went in my eye. Great. And I have a lot of fallout. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I don't know why, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do casual makeup, and then I'm spending like literally half an hour on my eyes. I don't have time for this. <laughs> my battery is also flashing, so I'm gonna finish my eye makeup off camera, but you kind of get the gist. It's just a pretty opened up halo eye. It looks really nice. Okay, we are back. Okay, so I just put some brow mascara on and put some actual mascara on. Wait, did I just call it brow mascara? Brow gel. <laughs> I 
I actually really like this look for hooded eyes so really well because you don't have to worry about transfer because you literally just put the shimmer pretty much all the way up to your brow <laughs> actually I am just gonna put some brow highlight on which is just my face highlight a little bit right in the arch there okay so I feel like my eyes are done we need to put some lip stuff on what to put on. I'm just going to do the combo that I've really been loving. I'm going to be using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken. I've really been loving this. And the Soph X Makeup Revolution Lipstick in the shade Cake. I've been really loving this combo. They're pretty much an exact colour match. I wish I'd have put a lip balm on, but it's fine. I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, so final thing to do is set the face. I'm just going to use Max Fix Plus just because is by here and I like it. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. This is like a really nice lavender, like a sweet lavender. Mm. My god, so good. Okay, so let's finish up this video. I think I've spoken about quite a few things and I've blabbered about a lot of random stuff. I'm just gonna go and try and sort my hair real quick and I'll be right back. My hair looks just as bad. <laughs> But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little get ready with me. It's kind of therapeutic to talk about things, you know. And you guys know that I'm on a weight loss journey, just talking about real life stuff. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and fulfilled in whatever you are doing. If you're not yet, that is life and that is fine. But just know that you will get there and it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Why am I getting philosophical? I don't know. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video and you're still here, thank you for one. <laughs> but why not subscribe to my channel, You'll get to know a little bit more about me, a little bit more about products. I bring up videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'm here twice a week for this channel. So if you're interested, then why not subscribe? And don't forget to click the bell so you get notified of when I upload. If you enjoy like chatty videos and chilled videos while I'm doing makeup, then don't forget to leave a little thumbs up so I know. And I'll definitely do a few more because I don't really do these that often. But it's nice to just chill and chat, really. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, bubble bath, whatever you are doing whilst watching my videos. And yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. Hello. If you're wondering, the highlight is the glue fusion. Fusion? Fusion? With a and I'm still trying to work these food a bit of shoddy shit of what? <laughs> Which is the suede. I'm gonna be use I've been using the neck of the nut oh my god, I cannot speak. <laughs>